G'day all, and welcome back to Unimi. Today, we're going to start another DIY project. We're gonna make a firewood rack, which will consist of some 25 by 25 SHS and some plate. It's a great project to accompany your fireplace this winter. Anyway, enough talk, so let's get started. If you'd like to follow along in making this project, we'll have a list of materials down in the description below. You can use any process to weld up this project, but we'll be using our Viper MIG 185 multi-process welder on the MIG welding process. So I've done a rough drawing of what we're going to do, and our first step is to mark and cut out our SHS to size. These will include four lengths at 1200mm and four lengths at 300mm. We're going to use our drop saw to cut these lengths, but you can also use an angle grinder. So the next step was to deburr our cuts on our square hollow section ends that we just cut and now it's time to move on to the base plate. First we're going to deburr that as well, round off the corners and mark in 25mm from each end so we can locate our frame. So now we're going to mark out 300 millimetres from the bottom of our 1200 pieces. That'll give us our cross bracing locations and it'll also serve as a separator for our firewood and our kindling. So now all the boring stuff's out of the way. We've marked, cut and deburred all our steel and now it's time to weld it all together. So how we're going to do this is we're going to make two H sections like this. Two of our 1200 pieces and one of our 300 pieces we're going to make sure diagonals match up, make sure it's square. Like so. We'll hold it in place with some right angle magnets, tack it together and then we'll do the next one. Just a quick note. I only did tack on the underside there, so if I take the magnets off and it's not square, I can still bang it around and make sure that I get everything lined up and squared up. Also, when I go to weld it, I'll put an extra piece that's the same as that, 300 millimeters, in the end there, clamp that down, so when I weld in there, it doesn't move and it stays straight. So now, you should have two frames that look like this. We've also sanded down the butt welds to make it easier to put in our cross members so we can line them up flush. What we're gonna do now is stand them up, clamp them together, put our cross members in, tack them and weld them up. So, I've tacked together my H frames using my cross members checking diagonals at every single step. Next, I'll be doing the butt welds first, checking diagonals again, and then the fillet welds. That way we'll end up with the square frame.
So now it's time to attach our frame onto our base plate. We're going to line the corners of the frame up with the corners of our markings that we applied earlier, tack it on, make sure it's square, and then weld it all up. The ends of our square hollow section still look incomplete. So we're gonna grab some of these flat bar, cut four pieces at 25 by 25, tack them on the ends, weld them, sand them up, and they'll serve as end caps. As an added option, I'm going to attach these caster wheels to the bottom of this base plate. Makes it easy to move around once it's stacked full of firewood. You can pick them up fairly cheap at your local hardware store. So what I'll do is, is I'll line them up to the corner, tack it through the holes, clean them up and it's ready for paint. Our firewood rack is almost done, we've only got three steps to go. So firstly, we'll give it a quick sand with our orbital sander, then we'll wipe it down with our degreaser, and then we'll give it a spray job with our flat black spray paint, which already has primer in it. So let's get stuck in. Now all there's left to do is stack your forward up top and your kindling down the bottom and you're ready for those cold winter months. Thanks for watching this video on how to build a DIY firewood rack. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like the video and we'll see you next time.